Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm here at the archery range, uh, shooting some arrows, and I'm cleaning out my pack and making sure that I got everything ready and prepared for the rut um, that's coming up here pretty quick in a couple weeks. Um, and I wanted to do a gear review on my pack. I run a Kafaru 22 mag bag um, with uh, the Kafaru 24 inch tactical frame. Because I don't see a whole lot of guys running Kafaru packs, Kuyu packs, um, you know, some of the Exo Mountain gear stuff. Whatever the pack may be, uh, I don't see a whole lot of guys running, you know, full frame packs uh, for whitetail hunting. Um, if you self film your hunts, everything like that, you can know how much of a pain it is if you don't have a quality bag. Uh, I ended up with going with Gafaru. Um, a lot of the reason is uh, the customer service behind them. Kafaru is a great company, um, just all around great company. They hooked me up right. Uh, they, they, you know, they got all my measurements, everything like that, and uh, hooked me up well. So uh, I just really want to put this video out there for you guys who may be thinking about going to a full frame pack, um, you know, for whitetail hunting. It's kind of out of the ordinary, but I'm going to tell you right now why I do it and uh, why I think you should give it a try. Okay, so this is the pack completely empty on my body. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Um, how it fits and kind of go through the pack a little bit. Um, I'm not going to go too in depth. I'll post a link in the description below to a video of Aaron Snyder explaining how these frames and, and everything are supposed to fit the waist belt, the chest strap, your load lifters, everything. But I'm going to go through it briefly. Uh, check that video out if you want to so you kind of know how these things fit. And uh, yeah, so then come back to this video. Anyway, chest strap, you kind of want to leave this a little bit loose. You don't want to cinch it down. Does you no good. Leave it nice and loose, just snug is all you want to do. These are your load lifters. When you've got a bunch of weight in your pack and it's dragging down on your, on your shoulders, you can cinch these up, cinch your waist belt. You see how that just popped up off my shoulders? Now obviously this is extremely exaggerated. You don't ever want to have that much gap between your shoulders. But that just shows you how uh, the pack works. Um, so you loosen these. If you got less weight, loosen your waist belt. Snug it. Everything fits well. So anyway, that's just kind of a rundown of how the pack works. Um, oh yeah, and obviously you got your shoulder straps. You can tighten those down however tight you want them. I kind of like to leave them a little bit loose. Uh, just snug. Works good for me. Um, so, and obviously all these adjustments depend on how much weight you have in the pack. If you have more weight, you're gonna have, you know, it's gonna be tighter, it's gonna be cinched up tighter, your load lifters are gonna be pulled down further depending on where your load is in your pack, everything like that. Again, check out the video that Snyder put out, uh, link in the description below, and uh, he'll run through all that in way more depth than I'm gonna go into. Uh, and it's a really informative video, so I recommend you check it out. But anyway, so here's a look at the pack off the body. Again, this is the 22 mag Kafaru. It's a 3,000 cubic inch pack, uh, which is about perfect for what I want for whitetail hunting and self filming and everything like that. A huge advantage to this pack is these pockets on the side, on both sides, pull out and you can stuff whatever you want, tripod, everything like that. Uh, I actually stuff, if I'm ground hunting, I'll stuff a tripod on one side and I'll stuff my chair on the other side, cinch it all down, ready to rock. If I'm tree stand hunting, I will stuff my camera arm down one side. No more strapping your camera arm to the front of the bag or trying to stuff it down in the bag and stick out the top with your zippers open and everything like that. No more of that. You can shove it right down this side pouch. And then you can cinch it up real tight with these uh, compression straps. You can see that. You can cinch these up with comp compression straps. Snap them shut. Cinch them down even more, you know, whatever you want. 
and that also tightens everything in the bag. So the, everything in the bag is going to stay put. It's not going to be falling all over the place, falling to the bottom of the bag. Uh, it's all going to stay where it was when you put it in there. Kafaru, they will take down all of your measurements, your inseam, your height, your weight, everything. And they will build the bag and the tack, well not the bag, they will build the frame to you specifically for your body type. Um, I gave uh, all the dimensions to Frank over at Kafaru, uh, my height, my weight, everything like that. You can swap bags out, so you can use this same frame um, with a 6,000 cubic inch bag or whatever. If you want to go elk hunting, you can use this exact same frame and switch it out with another bag from Kafaru, um, and then you got an elk bag. All right. So, I'm going to show you guys how I have everything set up in here um, and how easy, it looks kind of packed in and mangled and clustered, whatever, but I want to show you guys how easy it is to get to what you want to in your pack. Um, it's so organized and it stays organized. Nothing's going to move around in your pack. I'll just show you how I do it. Okay, so in here I've got my DSLR camera, which I'm filming with right now. Um, my camcorder, which I film my hunts with, um, camera arm, uh, GoPro, I use this uh, use this little extension, I don't know what they call it, little snake extension, whatever, for some third person angles. Um, in here, there's some side pox pockets on the side of this bag, got my gutting and skinning knives. On the other side, tree saw. They are uh, identical pockets on either side. Up top is where I keep my um, the base for my camera arm. I keep that up at the top because it's the first thing that I get to when I get into the tree. Uh, I'm going to set up my camera arm first, obviously after I've already tied off. But uh, Then I've got another pouch <coughs> attached here and in that pouch is where I keep my extra release, my camel face paint, my tags, um, what else do I keep in there? Oh, the Allen wrenches, a few other things. Um, so then I put this in there at the top, it's all secured. Uh, down at the bottom I've got uh, a couple of calls and I forgot to show you guys this. This is uh, Another Kafaru pullout. This is a large Kafaru pullout. And what I have in here is uh, some first aid stuff, um, some ibuprofen, things like that. Uh, up top here, there's a pouch on the back of the lid. And there's where I keep my Dark Energy Poseidon, portable charger, and the extra chargers are in there as well. Uh, let me see, what else? I think that's it for the inside. On the side pouches, that's where I keep my main release, which I'm going to shoot with the Carter Target 4 for my main release. Uh, I keep my rangefinder on the right hand pouch. Then on the left hand side is where I keep my Vortex Binos. Um, I also keep a couple of extra batteries in there on this side for, uh, or I guess when I'm checking trail cameras just so that I know that I've got extra batteries and uh, I'm not going to be left with a dead camera. Uh, I'm going to show you something about this. The whole, the pack is awesome because it almost acts like a suitcase. So you can open it from the bottom and get into anything you want from the bottom side or you can open it from the top, get to anything from the top side. You know, everything's right there. And the way this bag is, it's like, it's got like, almost like walls that come up. So everything just stays in place. Everything's in there the way you want it. And again, I'm doing this review uh, from a, from a self-filming whitetail hunter's standpoint. Um, a lot of bags just, they just didn't work for what I needed for, uh, you know, for all the self-filming that I do. Um, 
it takes up a lot of space, uh, it's a lot of weight, and it gets pretty uncomfortable if you don't have a bag and a frame and a pack and everything that works for you. That's the great thing about Kafaro that I love. Um, it absolutely will work for you because it was built for you. Also, everything is made in the USA. Big plus. So on the side pouches, that's where I'm gonna keep my camera arm. First thing I get to in the morning, as well as the base, which is the first thing I get to in the morning. So both of those super easily accessible right away. Um, this is representing a tripod if I were ground hunting. Uh, this is the chair. So that's my little tripod chair. Um, if I'm ground hunting, I'm gonna have this chair in here. I'm gonna have the tripod. That I'm filming with on this side. I won't have my camera on set up in here, so um, anyway, so that's just kind of that. Um, I just clipped these onto the little buckles. These are uh, the Wind Pro, this is Dominant Buck, and this is uh, Doe Estrus. Again, I'm setting this pack up to go into the rut, so that's kind of the stuff that I'm carrying for the rut. Um, okay, so what I was going to get to with back here is uh, I also use a Kafaru, they call it the Grabit, I think it's called the Grabit 2, and what this does, you can put your bow cam in here, you can strap your bow in, you can put bulky clothes, big heavy. Uh, extra clothes, whatever you want in here. You can put a deer head, I mean, whatever. This pack is designed to carry meat, so I mean, if you're hunting, obviously if you're hunting whitetails in the mountains, you're probably gonna want a pack like this anyway. Um, but I'm kinda doing a review on this pack from a Midwest whitetail standpoint. Anyway, so this is, this hooks into these. And you've got this nice little pouch here that you can stuff whatever you want in. Plenty of adjustment, this will come all the way up. You can stuff, I mean, loads. You can stuff tons of stuff in here. Now, I will say if you're hauling meat, not the best option. You can stuff the head in there, whatever. Um, if for whatever reason, if you're hunting deer and you've gotta quarter it out, that is when you disconnect at the bottom. Your pack lifts up from the frame and you put all of your meat and everything in between the pack and the frame, put the pack back on it. These are your straps, you've got adjustment for days on these straps. You can have your pack up here and have meat between your pack and the frame and cinch everything down. Works great, but for when I'm not using this, all I do is just roll this up. stays put and go in there. The other thing that I like about this pack is, well there's a ton of things that I like about this pack, but there's grab handles everywhere. So there's a grab handle here, grab handles on the side, and on the back, you got a grab handle here. And uh, that's where I usually hang it from the tree, and then I'll wrap the belt around the tree if it's small enough, snap the belt. Everything just hangs there like a suitcase. And, uh, you know, if I want to get to my calls, I know that they're down at the bottom. Boom, can get to my calls, stuff them right back where they were, put them in. If I want to get to my camera, I know it's on this side. Get to this side, grab my camera, whatever I want to do. I, I love the fact that you can get to your bag from the bottom and you don't have to deal with getting everything from the top. So you're getting everything from the top and you're just, you're messing your whole bag up and you're getting frustrated. And uh, anyway, so that's my setup. Thought I'd just show you guys while I was packing it all up. Uh, put a video together for you guys. Cinch these down. Now everything's tight in your, po in your side pockets. Not gonna go anywhere. Get all set up, ready to rock. Mm. I knew I forgot something. Up top, 
There's a top pouch and I keep my stream light lantern in there as well as my small Kafaru pullout. Again, this has got GoPro batteries, charger, um, there's a, wire, or a wired mic in there, uh, cords, cables for the GoPro, extra SD cards, everything like that goes in here. Alright guys, so this is the pack fully loaded, cinched down on my body. Um, pretty form fitting, stays pretty form fitting. Um, the awesome thing about this pack is that it will stay with you no matter where you move. It's going to be totally and 100% hooked to your torso. It's not moving. Doesn't matter how much weight you got in it, everything's cinched down the way it should be. Um, it's not going to move. The thing about some cheaper packs that don't have a frame is, uh, you know, you're climbing up your tree stand. A lot of guys climb their tree stand with their pack on. A lot of guys don't use a pull rope to get their packs into the stand. Um, I'm not going to advise you one way or the other. I personally climb the tree with my pack on because I know my pack is secured to my body. It's not going to shift my load left or right. Um, and I feel really good about climbing a tree with my pack on. Uh, obviously, when you get in a tree, hook off, harness off use a lifeline um, but anyway so this pack isn't going to throw your weight around or uh, throw its weight around in turn throwing you around um, this pack will stay with you no matter how you use it um, so yeah anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video again I'm coming at this from a Midwest whitetail uh, self-filming standpoint I don't want to let you get, I don't, I don't want to tell you guys to not go buy the other packs at, uh, you know, your local sporting goods store that's $25, um, you know, whatever. Do you, do what you need to. Um, if it's comfortable for you, awesome. Um, I just learned this from experience that it was not comfortable for me. Uh, I spent a couple of years laboring um, over, you know, nothing. I didn't have to do that. Uh, all I needed to do was invest in a good pack. Um, and this pack will last me a lifetime, literally a lifetime. I'll probably never buy another pack, um, I should say frame and pack combo. The guys at Kafaro are awesome. You can call them up anytime. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm here at the archery range. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm here at the archery range. I uh, was shooting some arrows and I'm cleaning out my pack and making sure that I got everything ready and prepared for the rut um, that's coming up here pretty quick in a couple weeks. Um, and I wanted to do a gear review on my pack. I run a Kafaru 22 mag bag um, with uh, the Kafaru 24 inch tactical frame. Because I don't see a whole lot of guys running Kafaru packs, Kuyu packs, um, you know, some of the Exo Mountain gear stuff. Whatever the pack may be, uh, I don't see a whole lot of... Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm here at the archery range, uh, shooting some arrows, and I'm cleaning out my pack and making sure that I got everything ready and prepared for the rut um, that's coming up here pretty quick in a couple weeks. Um, and I wanted to do a gear review on my pack. I run a Kafaru 22 mag bag. Um, with uh, the Kafaru 24 inch tactical frame. Because I don't see a whole lot of guys running Kafaru packs, Kuyu packs, um, you know, some of the Exo Mountain Gear stuff, whatever the pack may be.